Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's Naive Goldfish. And in this video, we're going to be building Salmonella Sally's Pizza Shop as part of Lucy Jane Plays and Vlad Administrator's Teeny Tiny Camp Challenge. So let's bloody well crack on with it. First up, we need a location, don't we? And if you're unfortunate enough to have seen my videos before, you'll know that I've done a build here in the past. We're located just near the Charleston train station. And if you want to build it yourself, just look for the house with a new Coca-Cola painting on the wall. You'll see what I mean when you get here. Now, foundations-wise, really easy in this video. For this challenge, you're limited to two foundations foundations so yeah we're putting down two foundations it's not exactly rocket science just make sure they line up with a wall half decentish decentish is that a word fuck knows but anyway you know what i mean now i'm not too sure what takeaways are like in other parts of the world but in britain they literally do look like something you'd find in a post-apocalyptic wasteland even the people that you find in them especially on a friday night are comparable to feral ghouls and i know this because i am one of said people so this build is already lining up to be one of the most immersive and realistic creations we have ever made once we put down our two foundations we're going to make a little overhang for the front of the shop and we're going to do this by using a catwalk to off center a foundation i've done this loads of times in other videos but we might as well go through it again haven't we after off centering our foundations grab yourself a wall doesn't matter what wall it is but spend at least 25 minutes in your build menu choosing the wall once you've chosen your building material place down a full-size wall and slap down an half wall on top of it simply simply lovely from here we need to destroy that half wall so what do we do we stack a wall of stash boxes on top of each other and then we destroy it with a flamethrower once it's been burnt you should be able to remove the walls underneath them beautiful from here we need to put a roof in and to do that we need to put in one of the walls you've just deleted i know counterproductive it wouldn't be a tng video without at least one fuck up anyhow once you put that wall back in just stick a flat roof piece to it any will do it really doesn't matter change the roof piece to a corner boy or a slopey boy and then remove the wall underneath it for the second time you can also piss around moving your foundations back to where they should be too once you've done that you can start putting some walls in i'm going for the glass walls at the front followed by a brick wall initially at the back but as you'll see at the end of the video i do change my mind on that and for the two people who are wondering why did you change your building materials well the answer is quite simple it looked absolutely appalling and that's going off my standards as well so you can imagine how poor it was if any of you are like me out there and you're very indecisive about what materials you should use in a build take this time to you know reflect on what makes the perfect fast food outlet and really get into details with your thought process you know for example i'm thinking of how to get as many pubic hairs into my pizza as humanly possible because i know if i find answers to first world problems such as that my build is going to be the most immersive thing that's ever left my console so yeah let your creativity run wild guys i mean i'm not sure if they are tameable but go and find a rad rat or a rad roach and get them to come and live in the kitchen i mean that'll just set it off perfectly anyhow once you've meditated on life's burning questions and you have got some form of structure in front of you then we can move on to the next step and said next step is to put in another flat roof piece at the rear of your build just right about here can you see it there beautiful of course you can and then of course from that one you can snap another one to it simply simply lovely you can then change those flat roof pieces into corner boys or slopey boys anything that will allow you to destroy them with a flamethrower trap because that's exactly what we're gonna do burn the shit out of them when nothing but a glowing outline remains of them roof pieces come back down to the ground floor get out a catwalk and we're gonna space out the first foundation again why are we doing this well we're gonna want to put another half wall in so obviously we're gonna put down a full-size wall and then stick an half wall on top of that it's all for our little overhang signy board area at the front you'll see the effect when it's all back together once you've done that repair the corner boy roof at the front of your build and change it to a flat piece again i know it's counterproductive and i have no excuse for it and on top of that flat roof put down a flame from a trap and burn the half wall that you've just put in place mm-hmm yep simply simply lovely attach a corner piece or a slopey boy to the full wall underneath the half wall that you've just destroyed does that make any sense nope of course it doesn't and then you can get rid of that full wall beautiful change the rearmost two roof pieces from corner boys into flat roof pieces but leave the front one alone just leave that as a corner boy for now because with that still destroyed and all the half walls around it rebuilt we can put a flat piece over the top of it see simple as that in it nope it's probably as clear as mod but once you start doing it you'll understand what i'm trying to say well at least i hope you're going to understand anyway because if you don't then it's going to be a pretty crap tutorial isn't it and of course tng has made a cock up ain't it? we've missed out a wall here however it does doesn't matter we'll fix it now hopefully your foundations are still going to be offset if they're not offset the front one with the catwalk again place down another full-size wall with an half wall on top of it build up your stash box and destroy the top half wall with a flamethrower trap we're just repeating what we did before we can then change this flat roof piece into a corner boy for the 87th time and remove the full-size wall from underneath the half wall switch that corner piece back to a flat piece for the 1987th time repair the half wall and we're all done thank christ for that right so from here we're going to add 
another layer of unnecessary complication and we're going to go under the map to make some underpinnings because we can't do it with the catwalks due to the terrain. The first step is to build out three foundations from our pizza shop. We're having to do this so we can actually get in and out of our symptomatic. The terrain everywhere else is too bumpy. You'll see what I mean in a minute. To make our under the map contraption, just grab yourself a set of stairs, grab yourself a floor mat, place down the symptomatic on top of the floor mat, grab the mat and that'll bring the symptomatic with it. You can then use that to place a symptomatic on one of the steps of the stairs. The second step is usually the best one. You can then get the stairs, snap it to the side at foundation and as you can see the symptomatic is just sticking up out the ground and that means that we can interact with it anywhere else around here you wouldn't see the symptomatic you couldn't interact with it you couldn't get under the map sad times once you've got underground delete the symptomatic delete the mat and stick another set of stairs onto the ones that are already there and from there we're going to build floors over to our salmonella shack and then it's just a case of finding where the foundations are building some walls up against it and a press door you've got yourself underpinnings now the front one here if you do want to put stairs on it you're going to need to use a brick wall destroy the brick wall with a flamethrower trap and then you can snap stairs to it repair the wall and you've got stairs over the underpinnings it's beautiful isn't it nope it really isn't now in some spots i will admit this is a really handy trick to know you know there's a lot of places on the map where your foundations are 97 meters out of the ground but here this isn't really necessary but i thought i'd just show it anyway because if there's one thing i like doing above anything else is adding extra unnecessary content to my video to watch my retention rates on youtube plummet through the fucking floor anywho once you've finished doing everything you need to do under map start deleting the floors working your way backwards get to the stairs delete the stairs get to the top of the map and delete your last set of stairs beautiful and then it's just a case of adding a wall at the front of your build and a wall at the back of your build and you're pretty much done now depending on your foundation placement you should be able to get walls in against where that nuka cola wall is but it's up to you leave it visible or wall it off i'm going to show you some footage of it decorated now remember like i said at the beginning of the video that brick wall there with the hole in it i have changed that slightly it's it's entirely up to you whether you want to do that or just leave it as it is. The world is your oyster or so they say. Anyhow, I'll catch you in a second. And that is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, this was done as part of the teeny tiny camp challenge thing. I'll leave a link down in the description to Vlad Administrator's channel and Lucy Jane's channel who came up with this idea. Make sure you go and check them out. And if you click on the teeny tiny hashtag challenge thing that I've put here as well, then you'll be able to look at other people's camps who have also took part. Anyway, as we say in the north, I shall love you and leave you, and I'll catch you at next one. Have fun, everybody. Much love. <laughs>